Tim Bolt Taste Tour is back. It's just me, as you can see again, and uh, therefore, we've got another wine for you. Uh, this wine here is a Sauvignon Blanc. Now, I've done Sauvignon Blancs before, but just to recap it, basically, uh, it's a green skin grape, makes white wines. Um, origins of the grape are from the Loire and Bordeaux regions in southwestern France. And uh, pretty much it's got a crisp, citrusy, um, very uh, just fresh taste. Uh, they're typically, you, they, don't really, they don't really benefit from aging much at all, and pretty much you drink them very young. Um, this one here is from the central, the Valle Central, which is in the northern part of, or the uh, middle part, rather, of Chile, hence meaning Central Valley. It's right around the Santiago area, which is the capital of Chile. This is called Anakina. Now, Anakina means uh, bird cave in the Rapa Nui culture, which is of Easter Island. Uh, basically, the bird cave signified where the spot where the Easter Island seagull used to hide his egg. And there's all kinds of different cultural things about the people that would try to find it, the people that try to find it would turn into the Easter Island seagull, things like that. Uh, but that's all just the tales, and you can tell they do play in the Rapa Nui culture, though, because they have little uh, symbols and stuff like that of Easter Island uh, symbology, basically. So, let's see here. A crisp, pale gold Sauvignon Blanc with fresh gooseberry and wild blossom aromas. Bursting with ripe fruit and freshness, it has a lively style with a delightful finish. Delicious as an aperitif with chicken, seafood, salad, or cheese. 13% alcohol by volume, produced in bottles by A.F. Arco Iris S.A. Reconoa, Chile. So, Sauvignon Blancs are one of these things that I'm, that I'm buying, obviously, a decent amount of now and reviewing a lot of because it is in the Northern Hemisphere. As I said, it's summertime, and they're the, one of the best, if not the best, wine for summertime. That's a nice Sauvignon Blanc. Um, less, um, you definitely taste the gooseberry, or, or, and it almost has a gooseberry, almost like a, um, not blue, but it just, a, it has a strange berry, um, almost like elderberry flavor to it. Um, it's not as uh, grapefruit citrusy as the Santiago Station one, which I've reviewed before. Um, it's actually... It's more refined and has a more uh, floral, um, crisp, citrusy, uh, non-citrusy non uh, taste, in fact. A more fruity taste. Um, that's a really good Sauvignon Blanc. I think for the value, I would give it an 8.0 just because I think the Santiago Station is a little bit better value as it's $5 and this is $7.99 at the Total Wine & More stores in Northern Virginia. Um... I love the theme of it. I love Anakino wines, and this is a really good, nice wine. Um, if you've liked what you heard, it's got these fresh gooseberry, elderberry, like the sort of the off berries, the strange berry flavors. Almost a little bit, maybe a little hint of, of blueberry even. Um, would go great with uh, stuff like uh, like pork or spicy dishes even, I think. Um, yeah, 8.0 for me. The Anakina Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, as you can see, got a screw top. That's one of the things that re both Rieslings and Sauvignon Blancs pioneered. Um, and not much more to say about it. It's just a really, really nice um, Sauvignon Blanc from a really good winery in South America. So check out the Anakina Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. We'll be back with more. 8.0 is my rating. Thanks for joining us.